everybody. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to TJ Warren TV. Welcome back to yet another episode. It's like a half episode. Mm-hmm. American Idiots, episode 51.5. Because 52 is next week. <laughs> the one year anniversary of me on YouTube is next week, people. So make we sure that. that you are there. But make sure that you're here, too. Make sure that you're present here because we are reacting with a legendary panel to the Arsenal Bayern Munich. Champions League quarterfinal draw. We'll also talk about the other the other matches that are going to be coming up in that quarterfinal as well. It will be absolute prime watching. Um, obviously, uh, before we introduce the panel, I wanted to uh, just call out Connor uh, for his um, great work this week. First of all, he went on the terrace, absolutely cooked on the terrace. So big up, big up, Connor on there. And he's all and he and he's rattling the ups too. He's rattling the ups. So let's go ahead and check it out. Here we go, Connor crying. Oh my God, why Bayern? Give me Sparta Prague in the Champions League. Grow up, Connor. Grow up, Connor. Arsenal fans, if you're afraid of Bayern Munich, grow up. Grow up here. Be a man. Be a man. Grow up. And if you're a woman, be a woman as well. Grow up. Acting like you're sitting here and just being, uh, you're afraid of Bayern Munich? You're afraid of Harry Kane's Bayern Munich? Grow up. I would, if I was in the Champions League, I would want Bayern Munich. How about that? But you're not in the Champions League. You saw it, man. Give it his full suit going, oh, Hala Madrid, <laughs> Hala Madrid. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but he, when he gets out of the suit, he does nice. this. Good luck to you in the next round as well. We'll see who you guys draw. But I was supporting Arsenal yesterday. And it's Arsenal. Arsenal FC. Where by far the greatest team. The world is ever seen. Bro, you know, no, no, confirmed Arsenal fans. Both of them. Real no, 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 no. So so who do we who do we got on, on the bandwagon now? We got Staffy. We yeah. got um, Mo. We got Great Mo. Job, now, yeah, Mo. Now, Terry Fleurs. Terry Fleurs, we're scary. Terry Fleurs, Terry Fleurs, scary. <laughs> Terry Fleurs. On People our said they were scary. What's going on here, man? Yeah. So, so yeah. No, I'm not. And by the way, to be fair, I'm not scared of Bayern Munich. I'm not scared. But we're gonna get it. We're gonna get into it. Let's go to the co-host with the most first. Dal. What's up, what's up you TJ? What's up, everybody? Good to see everyone in the chat. A few new names, same regulars. Woo! What a day! What a day! Um, well, I'm glad I'm I'm not a Man City fan, but it is what it is. But yeah, I agree with Hussam. Grow up, Connor, for fuck's sake. There goes monetization. <laughs> hey, <laughs> listen, man. I, I, we're going to get into this. But I'm going to say right now, for Big true man. Gooners, I'm not talking top Gooners. We're saying we're going to slaughter Munich 7-0, but we're going to give them a game. Arteta's going to have a plan. Um, I hope. But anyway, happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> happy Friday. Um, and uh, before we bring it over to the biggest star on YouTube, Saad, how are you doing, brother? You good? Hi, Thanks for joining us, bro. Ah, uh, yes, my way here. I just added something to my name, as you can see, <laughs> right here, <laughs> right here. I'm, Veng- I'm Wenger's lost, long lost son, bro. You know what I mean? Parle français. You know what I mean? We're here, bro. Yeah. <laughs> well, yes. You know, I could do the voice, bro. It was a good game. Uh, it, was it was a good, a good game. game. Uh, maybe we have a surprise for you. Who knows? Well, uh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> Who knows, bro? And all of a sudden, as it will happen. So, yeah. yeah. Listen. <laughs> big up to everybody, big up to everybody who is here, man. Make sure you're smashing the like button, make sure you are subscribing to the channel. Um, listen, TJ, Dow, Connor, me. Yes, like, bro, this is the this is the this is the real quadruple. You know when they speak about quadruples, bro? This is the quadruple right here, bro. Yeah, oh, it's, it's amazing, man. It's mad, bro. But listen, I'm happy to be here, lads. Let's get into this, man. We need to talk, man. We need to talk. No, we, we need to break the situation down. But no, yeah, before, yeah. sorry, sorry. We need to roll out the red carpet real quick. We need to roll out the red carpet. <laughs> Connor, how you doing, bro? Uh, oh, <laughs> hey, Connor. Hey. Connor, come on, man. Come on. You know, you know, I got, you know, I got to take care of you, bro. Because my man takes up to the piss out of each other now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. So, how, how you doing, bro? You good? No, I'm good. I'm good, man. It's Friday. I'm buzzing. Finished work. Had a good gym session. I'm, I'm refreshed. I'm feeling good. 
Um, did a good stream this morning. Um, mad Twitter views, man. I don't know what's going on with Twitter recently, but Twitter's moving mad right now. Uh, yeah, listen, either way, we were going to... There was, in my opinion, there was no easy team out of that eight. As much as, you know, maybe Dortmund would probably be preferred. Maybe PSG. I know they've got Mbappe, but they still have their weaknesses. They've got a lot of injuries. But in my opinion... I would have still thought whatever team we got, it would have been a difficult match, you know. So listen, we, of course we get them. If you actually watch my reaction, literally like 10 seconds, 15 seconds before, I said we're getting Bayern and I said we're getting City and Madrid after. Literally, you might as well call me a prophet. So uh, listen, we were gonna get we were gonna get the big boys either way. Now it's just the time for Arsenal to prove everyone wrong. You know, I'll be here when they prove people wrong, but I'll also be here for the people who say we're gonna smash them. Boards, boards, <laughs> get real. But no, big up to everyone inside. Do smash a like, do subscribe, get TJ up to 800, man, real quick. And big up Dow and of course, Sard as well. I was an absolute legend. And Capo, when he eventually. Capo, Capo will be here eventually, people. The football Capo will be making his triumphant return. Two weeks in a row. Yeah, two weeks in a row of the football Capo. How do we get that lucky? That's that's all I got to ask. I don't know. We got, we got that, that off the poll right now, TJ. You know, yeah, we got that poll. We got that poll right now. Well, no, we got you, Connor. We got Sod. We got Dow pulling the strings too. I'm just here riding the wave, bro. That's all I'm doing. But no, look, look, look. I'm I'm gassed about about this. The more and more I think about it, we did a stream on Sod's channel. It was absolutely wild. Um, we're gonna have to do a part. No, we're gonna have to do a part two. Like that's how wild it got. Like there was too many. Number one, there was a lot of people. Yeah, Tony. Yeah, Tony going at it. You had freaking um. Yeah, Capo and 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 Dale going at it. Man, bro, it was it was nuts. It was next level stuff. So <laughs> why did they have to start? Why did they have to start World War Three when I needed to go to another? Dude, yeah, no, and then and this guy's trying to get off, go to a go to a show on his the... channel, and it, and and anytime he tries to end it, <laughs> they're just like they start fighting each other. I need again. to watch it. Again. I need to rewatch it. I was watching it. I was watching it in the gym. Well, I can only catch a snippet of it, so I need to rewatch the whole thing again. I wish I was there. But yeah, no, it's good. Pick up Sheik in the chat Sheik too. Chat too. Yeah, 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 and, Sheik. and his. His link, his link is in the uh, in the chat. We got to get Sheik on here eventually too. But right now we're talking about Champions League and Sheik. No offense, you don't know anything about that this season. Hold that. Anyway, all right. So I'm absolutely. Hey, I, 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 the more and more I think about this, the more and more confident I get. I'm not saying that we're gonna smash him, but what I will say, and I don't think it's out of the realm of, I don't think it's too positive to say this. And I know, yes, my name is Mister Negative, but I am gonna say this. We have the quality in this squad to match up. In our starting 11 versus Bayern Munich starting 11, we have the quality in this squad to match up with them. I think that – I don't think we're going to smash them, but I think that if we play – if the stars align oh, and we no. play okay. football the way I know we can play football, the way that we play in the league, the way the way that we can be clinical in the final third, we've seen it. We've seen that these guys are capable of it. I think we can beat these guys. And you know that these guys are not going to play a low block against us. They're going to come out and they're going to play football against us, which mm -hmm. any team that has done that in Europe, of course, we haven't played this this quality, but any team that has played open against us in Europe, we've absolutely slaughtered. So I think the quality in Bayern Munich are is going to keep that from happening. Don't get me wrong. They have they have one of the best goalkeepers in the world, and that is not – that's that's just objective. That's just facts. Mm -hmm. But they don't – and I'm hearing an echo. Sorry if I'm hearing an echo. I'm getting really distracted by that. But they have the yeah, they have the best goalkeeper in the one of the best goalkeepers in the world, one of the best midfields in I wouldn't say the best, one of the well, easily one of the best midfields in Europe, in my opinion. And they have a great striker in Harry Kane, obviously world class striker in Harry Kane. But we but we've seen that Harry Kane struggles to get past Starsky and Hutch. We've seen it before. We'll see it again. And I, I just think I just think look if our midfield shows up and we win the midfield battle I think we win this time. But what I want to I want to see what you guys think and and if that's not if that's too positive for you I mean it's just facts I think we I think we can beat them but a lot of ifs need to be answered in my opinion what do you think Dal? I just think that we have the, this is the opportunity to prove what we've really got this is the opportunity to prove. You know, if Arteta is really, can, you know, can cut the mustard in European football. Um, obviously, we know the 15 and 16 record, right? 16 attempts at European Cups and 15 failures. But, you know, here we are. So 
I think that we've just got to go in there and just do the job, right? Because the first game's at, at the Emirates, so we have to go in there mm -hmm. and and I know this sounds insane to some, but we've got to get a three or four goal lead because we can't go back to Allianz, you know, with without anything, yeah. right? A one nil is not going to be enough. Two nil is going to ho hopefully skate it, but I'm not confident of going there. But I am confident of the performances of Gabrielle. I'm confident that Saliba will step up. I'm confident that Declan Rice will step up. I'm kind of confident that Odegaard will step up. Hopefully he doesn't go missing in one of the biggest games, you know, of the season, you know. Um, I'm just hoping that the the players that we've been hard on, ob objectively so, will actually step up. And for all yeah. that, ours will need to align. But at the same time, I think you make good points. Their defense can be got at. If they start an Eric Dyer back there, I'm, I have no problem with that because I think Havertz overruns Eric Dyer all day long at, at the, the purple patch that Havertz is in. So a yeah. lot of it obviously is going to depend on the lineup, see where Havertz is going to play. You know he's going to play. Um, see what he does with Trissard and Gabriel Jesus. You know, maybe he puts Jesus back in front and Havertz on the left, and then we all just sort of are let down again. Um, he could play Zinchenko. He has a lot of options. But the one player I don't want to see – that many of you, some of you are going to disagree with is Thomas Party. I don't think he's match fitness for something this this intense. If he was if he was ready to play, we should have played him against Brentford. But I don't think that bringing him, you know, fresh out of training essentially and fresh out of house arrest to play the biggest game of Arsenal's season in the allegedly, last allegedly, 15, allegedly, allegedly, right in the last fourteen years. So. If Thomas, but I, I could be wrong. If Thomas Party is ready to go, maybe this is the, the game for him. But I really doubt it. I think we're going to stick with the same lineup that we have with, um, well, with Liverpool and so forth, with Havertz up front and Declan Rice on the left, Jorginho possibly. Um, and that's another thing. I think our midfield is better than theirs. They have a better attacking three, obviously, with Sané, um, Harry Kane, and who's the guy that played on the right? Is it Kinsley Coman? Not Breeze, well, not Breeze, one of the not main yeah. Who? Nabry, 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 yeah. Nabry normally right. plays on yeah, the right. Of course, the Arsenal kid. So I just think yeah. that well, yeah, the, yeah, way yeah. Goes, the, the way it goes is that those three are their primary top players. And Kimmich is good, but I mean, I'm not too worried about Kimmich. And to be honest, their defense I know can be got at. I mean, they have leaked goals this season. And I think if we can if if we can get three nil at home. If we can do them 3-0 at home, I'm pretty confident going to Allianz Arena with Gabrielle Saliba, Ben White in great form, and possibly Tomiyasu. I don't want to see Zinchenko. It's got to be Tomiyasu or Kiwior. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just confident that we're just a more – we just seem like we have better players in each position – but we just don't have the form necessarily that they may have. And we don't – and they have some world-class players and we – Kind of don't, so there's that issue as well. But yeah. I just think a three nil, man. We got we got to get three more three or more goals to go there to have any chance. A one nil ain't gonna cut it. Yep, no, I agree with you 100. Big up, Mama Flossie. Ah, it's so good to see Mama yeah, Flossie. Mama. Whenever whenever I see Mama Flossie in the chat, I immediately get happier. I'm not gonna lie. Big up, Mama Flossie, every single time. Big up everybody inside the chat. Make sure that you are smashing the likes. Make sure that you are subscribing to everybody on the channel. Um, yeah, on the panel sir. right now, um, and subscribe to the Football Corner ninety seven. Sod is here. Sod, what do you think? I mean, you're you're you were talking you were talking with some chests on your stream earlier, um, but but get tell us again for the people how you're feeling about this. Uh, listen, it's 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 not going to be the easiest of runs. It's not. I think I think now you've been given the big boys. You know, you have been given the big boys. We. We went past the group stage, which was, you know, some teams in there that they ain't really Champions League heritage. Um, and we got through that. Yeah. Then we came into the round of 16 and we came up against Porto, who have Champions League heritage. They've won it twice. We beat them. We didn't, it wasn't the best performance on the day at home. But we still got over the line, and that's all that that in a cup competition. That's really all that matters. Even though your performance might be a bit whack, as long as you get over the line, 
bro that's all that matters in the end of the day now now we have been drawn against the big boys Bayern they might have been looking a bit shaky in the Champions League against Manchester United against Copenhagen against um T's Galatasaray but let's be real this is still a team that know their way around the Champions League. They know their way around mm. the Champions League. They've been in the competition year in, year out for the last God knows how many years. It's been years since they've been in this competition. They've always been one of the big boys. That's why they've got the six Champions League stars on their shirt. That's why. Because they're one of the big boys. Mm-hmm. Now, for me going into this game, of course, I'm confident that we will have the, the quality to, to beat them, of course. But it's whether the experience is going to trump us up. Because it's all good having the quality and going out there and beating them. Yeah. Manchester City had the quality uh to beat Real Madrid. But what did what did what did what did Manchester City do? They ended up getting beaten by Real Madrid because Real Madrid had the experience. The experience yeah. and, and and they had the experience to never give up in those situations. They know a goal is coming. Let's just keep on going. 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 You know what I mean? They they've got that experience in the bag. And experience is Max. worth its weight in gold in this in these types of competitions. And if you haven't got it, then it could be very difficult for you. Now, of course, um, we're gonna be we're gonna be playing the home leg first, I believe. Yep. Um, and then we're away at the at the Allianz Arena. So listen, if I'm being realistic, yes, of course, we're going to we're gonna play at home. And we're going to play against them. And there's going to be no fans um, due to them doing a madness at Lazio. So there's going to be no fans at the stadium. So we get a full house. The literal definition of a full house for the game against Bayern Munich. But let's be real. When we go to the Allianz Arena, uh, we best be prepared. Because if the Allianz Arena starts singing and the Allianz Arena starts going off, it could get techie for teams, man. It could get techie for teams. I know, I know, Bayern. Um, I know Bayern were. Um, sorry, I know, I know that Manchester United went out there and put somewhat of a decent performance. Went toe to toe with them, but let's face it, we we have history with this Bayern team, and this is by far the the biggest uh, mental block yet is getting past these guys because. Yep. The, the the listen, Arteta is going to be showing them. He's going to be saying, "Look what happened last time we come up against these guys. Five one at home, five five one away, ten two one aggregate. Simple. So we need to go out there. We need to put a performance out because these guys have absolutely taken the piss out of us for the last uh, however many years that we've been in the Champions League. Them and Barcelona, we always get them. So yeah, in regards to in regards to the in regards to us beating them, of course we can beat them, but. Like I said, it's the it's the mentality, and it's also for me just looking at the run because I was having I was on uh, obviously big up Dan Potts I was on his um, channel uh, just now and they went over the run. I want you guys to listen to this run, yeah, of games in in the Champions League, yeah. So you got Man City on the thirty first of March, then you have Luton Town, which. Uh, is a favourable game for us. Then you got Brighton. Then after Brighton, you got Bayern Munich at home. Then you got Aston Villa at home. Then you got Bayern Munich away. Then you got Wolves. Then you got Tottenham. Now those games, those games are going to be techie. After the Tottenham game, um, I believe you're going to have the the either Real Madrid or you're going to have Bar- uh, or Man City, depending on who comes through. Yeah. You're gonna have them. Then you got Tottenham. Then them. Then you got Bournemouth. Then you got the second leg of either Tottenham or Real Madrid. Then you go to Old Trafford. That is a stinky run of games, man. It is. That is. That is. That is. Like if we oh, if we manage to win all those games, bro, we we deserve to win everything, everything and everything. I agree. I agree. No, and I think we will if we win all those games. And look, um. You you also have to remember we still have a, a game against Chelsea at home that hasn't been rescheduled either. So we got to pray to whatever God may exist that that lands somewhere in May because April is long for us. We got two games a week in April. Nice no, confirmed. Let's, it's confirmed. Let's, 
pray, sorry to interrupt. So let's pray that he's not looking at the long view and telling the kids that, hey, these are all these games we got coming up, possibly, guys. We need to be concentrating on what's ahead of us first, mm -hmm. right? We yep. can because yeah. we can paint the picture however we want, but we'll be in a different mode, different mentality by the time we face Aston Villa and the scum. So I just think that you know, let's let's take it one game at a time. But thanks for scaring the shit out of Assad. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I, I, listen, Assad. I didn't mean to you, bro, but listen, let's just, <laughs> no, yeah, okay. Sorry, by the way, the Chelsea truth. game, the Chelsea game has been confirmed, I think, that, that it's gonna be scheduled right before the Tottenham game. Oh, see. So, so that's just more games. There's, yeah, yeah. We're gonna more. be playing games every every oh, three oh, days. Yeah. I think at this at this point it's gonna be every three days you're playing games. So we uh, yeah. I, so we're gonna have, have to say depend that on we've got that the squad that looks so good. No, no, we got we got we got the squad now. We got the squad back. Everybody's back. Inshallah, they they stay fit. But yeah, that's enough for me, my Mister Blabber. Up, sorry, my bad. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. I just want to I just want to welcome <laughs> the legend football capo back to the show. Big up football capo. How you doing, bro? You good? Good, man. Good, good, good. Uh, happy to be on with you, boys. Um, I couldn't miss this. I am uh, with family over here, so if you do hear uh, little bits and pieces here and there, it's it's uh, the family saying what's up to one another. But listen, first and foremost, TJ, again, bro, this is the second time that I've been on the channel, man, so thank you for having me on. BVS. Up, Words don't even need to describe what me and you have been through, man. Love to see you Good. always, bro. I know that you're uh, you bleed the red not because you're a human being, but because you're a huge ass Arsenal fan. So, um, Connor, obviously, and then I just gotta ask, bro, that fade is sick. <laughs> first of all, first of all, first of all, I'm I'm a low key capo disrespected me because normally when he comes on a stream, the first thing he has to say is Mi gente, come on, Mi man. Gente. <laughs> come on, yeah. Let's oh, go, come on, oh, I love that. I love that intro, bro. Dímelo, mi gente, that. dímelo. Yeah. Listen, come listen, on. listen, listen. Yeah. It's Friday, baby. You know what I'm saying, and uh, the the body's definitely feeling it. We got the draw earlier this morning, so people don't know how to act. And I'm just here to let everybody know. Tranquilo, que lo que hay es tiempo. We got nothing but time, bro. We still have a lot of things to see with the eyes. You know what I mean? That's and um, listen, um, Saad, you, you, you said it. You said a lot of good things there. And I'm just looking at this right now, and it's kind of funny how we're back into the Champions League after how many years? Listen, we could all go back to uh, when the last time we were kicked out, and it's it's kind of funny how I don't rate Tuchel, and I feel that Arteta has a lot more know-how than Tuchel, but Tuchel did win the Champions League with a Kai Havertz that is now playing with us, right? We also got Harold Kane up top for Bayern Munich, and we have the best center back pairing in the world right now. I'm gonna I'm gonna say it with with chess, baby. All right, I believe in that. Those two are a thing of beauty. Uh, you got a Rolls Royce, and then you know you got an Aventador on the other side, just ripping people up. You know what I mean? And, and it's encouraging to see Ben White. Um, he's starting to find his feet compared to the you know, the beginning uh, of the season. And we have uh, 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 what used to be a ripe Kiwi, now a uh, blossoming Kiwi. You know what I mean? He's understanding his role. He's not a left back by no means, but defense wins uh, championships, right? As they say. So yeah. I'm looking at Bayern and I'm just looking at this entire season in general. Now that things are starting to evolve, especially coming back from Dubai, we all know what happened in Dubai, but I'm just looking at it and I feel like every other club out there is is got a weak point. You know, there's there's a way in to to you know feel a little bit of confidence. Now, listen, we all know what Bayern is, we all know what Bayern can do, we we, we all know the pedigree that you we're gonna be up against. I just feel that. It's going to be tricky, not only because of our own schedule, side, but it's only, it's only going to get a lot more trickier because, A, they're not going to have the fans at our house, the first leg. So 
we may have a little handicap there, right? And they're going to throw it all out there for us to, to kind of, you know, for us to implode potentially in, in, in the second leg in Germany. Um, I'm just looking at this tie. They have a great attack. I believe in our attack. I believe in our press more than anything. Um, and I think that we, we, they're there to be taken, man. They're there to win. We're there to win, to be quite honest with you. I nice. am cautiously optimistic. That's just the way I am in, um, in general. But looking at the squad right now, looking at Tuchel, looking at that Bayern side, it doesn't, I'm not scared. You know, obviously everybody wanted an easy way in. Dortmund, right? Mm -hmm. But I'm looking at now at Bayern. Bayern versus Arsenal. It's going to be worldwide. All eyes are not just going to be on Madrid City. It's going to be Bayern and Arsenal. Let's just put it out there. And it's encouraging to see that we have this opportunity to go ahead and have our boys be considered world class. And I think we all know who those certain amount of players we're talking about. Saka, you know, Saliba, uh, Gabriel, you know what I mean? Obviously, De Deckers, without a doubt. Even, listen, Martin Odegaard. Uh, it took a, a while for him to come around for me. But after seeing his display against Porto, he, he, sky's the limit, you know, with the kid. So I am uh, I'm excited because this is an actual test to where we can go ahead and say Arsenal are here, not just for this year, not just here for last year. We're here for the foreseeable future, next two, three, four, five years. And yeah. the fact that this is our first year back into the Champions League, people don't know what to expect from us, especially a Thomas Tuchel. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm excited for the competition. I'm excited for what we're going to see, how we're going to behave, how the players are going to go. And, and like TK said in, um, you know, a little bit ago in a, in a message mentality marvels. We, we, yep. We're here this far. There's no going back fellas. I don't want to see a Porto display. I don't want to see, listen, if anything, I'll be happy with the display that Man City versus Real Madrid had last year. And if we get dumped out, it is what it is. But guess what? We went and we we, we put it all out there on the line. But yep. I'm feeling confident that this is the year, not only to do something in the Champions League, but to also take advantage of the Premier League. My only mm -hmm. thing here is having Bayern where we have them now, them being 10 points out, mm -hmm. are they going to put all their eggs in a basket for the Champions League, knowing that they can't catch up to, to Bayer Leverkusen? And that yep. is my biggest concern, yep. is that they're going to go ahead and, and, like I said, I don't believe in Thomas Tuchel. I don't rate him. He had a one-off. But guess what? The person that scored a goal for him in the Champions League final is now playing for us. So there's a lot of pros and cons. It's still too early for me to go ahead and say with chess, you know, what we're going to do. I, I obviously need to see some Premier League games. And then you have some people saying that the, the, the league is not going to dictate how we play in the Champions League, which is all good and fair. I get it. But if you're going to have that chest with us and our performances in the Champions League, you also need to give it to um, Bayern Munich and where they are in the league. Like, yep. it, it, it's one of those, you know what I mean? So for me, I'm just excited that we're going against the big boys. I'm excited that we're through past Porto. It was a tough test. It was obviously something that we needed to all learn from. But um, at this point where we are right now, we shouldn't, we shouldn't play reserved like we did against Porto only because I know that Bayern is going to come to play against us. They're gonna, yeah, and they're once gonna... they come to play against us, that means that there's space in behind no matter who the hell is on the field. And one more thing, Thomas Muller, he was there for, for the last time we played against them, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. he was. You know what that tells me? Mind games. Yeah. And he's not playing mind games because he wants to play mind. He, he's actually looking at us like, 
shit, you know what, man? This is this is not going to be as easy as we think. So I just want to see the boys perform. I need to see progress in the way we we play a top team. And at this point, man, it, it, it's one of those where it's, I'm just happy for, for the time, man. I'm excited for the time. Nervous, obviously, but I'm also excited at the same time to see how our boys are actually going to go perform against potentially, you know, one of the top four, four clubs in, in the world right now. I agree. And, you know, and, and, and then I want to, I'm going to say something real quick and I'll throw it over to Connor. It's just incredible. Like it was weird to wake up today to see our badge next to Bayern Munich. We have not seen this outside of a friendly us playing against the big boys in a long, long time. And it's it, you can get a little bit of chest, you get a little bit prideful to see to see. Okay, we may be returning to where we to where we rightfully deserve to be, where this club and its fans deserve to be. So now all I'm saying is don't don't embarrass us. Go out there, put in a fight, put put. We need we need. I completely agree with Dow. We need three goals minimum at the Emirates. They have a handicap. Let's go in there and chase them out of chase them out of North London period. But Connor, what are your thoughts on it, man? You've been quiet for 31 minutes, which is so, so long for the yeah, biggest man. star on this panel. So, um, you better, uh, big up to, uh, first and foremost, big up to Nacho 17. Uh, just want to say congratulations on your European draw today. I can't remember who you had, but I think it, I can't remember because I, are you in the, no, you're not in the conference league. You're not in Europa. Ah, you're not in it. Big up to Connor, Nacho, man. You're, you're a gangster as well. Can I just say something as well? Here Nacho, we 17 yeah you are have some shame you, you are we allowed to swear yes yeah swear yeah. let rip man oh have some shame you fucking fraud listen to me listen to me you fucking fraud. <laughs> yo sad yo sad yes. don't be asking You're questions right. like that bro do you see the star spangled banner behind us right now bro. this ain't england all right this you can do what you wish bro. over here baby this <laughs> is a land of the free you, you know it's what? free you beach land of the this free, is free speech here bro Freedom of speech, bro. I'm pulling it out, man. I'm, I, I plead my Fifth Amendment. Is that it? The Fifth Amendment? <laughs> yeah, 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 good job, man. Yeah. Freedom, 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 freedom of speech, yeah? You have a Garnacho Avi, bro. Don't ever <laughs> chat to me. That shows your football IQ is in the ground, bro. In the gutter. <laughs> Dumpster juice. Please. Yo, he doesn't even this rate guy, his football. He bro, rates his haircut. This guy, this guy has been, bro, this guy has been in every single, every single <laughs> chat, bro. He was here. He was at Dan's, he was uh, at Dan, Dan Potts one. Everywhere, bro. This guy is just going no around life. hating on, bro, he's hating on Arsenal because we're right now over here and Man United no, are like over there. Yeah, bro. Bro. <laughs> like, it's crazy, bro. Bro, go enjoy your, your FA Cup. We're the you're playing, you're playing Liverpool, bro. You're playing Liverpool. Why are you here? Wasting your, wasting your Saturday they wasting your Friday evening, bro. What like? <laughs> Come on, man. Oh, <laughs> I have on your hands. Bro, have some shame. Oh, funny, man. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Connor, what do you got, bro? Yeah. Um. Yeah, Bayern. Listen, at the end of the day, it was it was always going to be a tough fixture. Like I said earlier, we were always going to get a tough team to play. Um. I personally, I. Mr. Negative, I can't see us getting through. Now, listen, I'm more than happy to be proven wrong. More than happy to. However, I've just seen our form in Europe compared to the Prem, and it's worried me in terms of how we... Listen, and don't get me wrong, we've won the games, we're through to the quarters. We, we were Obviously, it was, a very, it was a hard game to get through Porto. It, I don't think it was down to any lack of effort. Porto was just a difficult team to break down, as we know. Look at their record in, the, in Portugal right now in the league. Um, for me, that to know that I think we can win this game, I need to see some form of change of style of play against Bayern Munich because I can't watch. And listen, by, by all means, we will not be on the front foot against Bayern Munich. I do not see that whatsoever. I think we will be having to defend a lot. I would like to think we have the confidence to, you know, go one go toe to toe with them. But this is a young squad. I'm not saying they won't have confidence. Of course they'll have confidence. But something needs to change in the style of play in Europe because it's not clicking for me anyway. It's not something's not clicking. And I do want to see a little bit of change in that in that regard. Um, but big up, big know. up the OG. Sorry, can't interrupt. Big up the OG. I had to get his face on on the screen. 
Yeah. Yeah. Hey. 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 Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. So, yeah, listen. Do you know what it is, yeah? It's a mix of what's happened previously against Bayern Munich. Oh, that, that's one oh, thing. Oh, oh. What's happened previously with Bayern Munich? Um, the fact we haven't been in the Champions League for so many years. It is a young squad who I think Jesus and Zinchenko and Havertz have only compete have only been in Champions League sides, I believe, in our squad. If I might be incorrect, maybe Gabriel's played there for Lille, I'm not too sure. Um, but yeah, listen, we've got an experience team in the Champions League. So listen, of course I'm gonna back my team. I'm gonna say let's go ahead and do it. However, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself and say we're gonna smash them, this and that. I, I just need to see something different in the first leg. I need to see a different style of change because when you go to the Allianz Arena, boy, oh boy, we have got to pray. <laughs> pray. Because them fans, yeah, they would rock that Emirates if they came to the away end. Gee, and we're lucky they're not there because they are, listen, they are dicks and they got, they've, been, they've been banned for a reason because uh, they are frauds. However, they are very passionate fans and that Allianz Arena is no joke. And I think the Arsenal player is going to be hit very, very heavily. Because in my opinion, that Allianz Arena has a better atmosphere than any of the Premier League sides. Easily. In my opinion. And I love international yeah. atmospheres. I think they're a lot more passionate. Might be a bit of a shady shady line to put across as I am an Arsenal fan. But listen, I think, like I said, the only way I can see us go in there and really take them to we've got. I want to see a bit of something different in, in terms of style of play in Europe from Arteta, which I think you can do. I think he can do. I, I, I like to think that he he would have seen that Porto game and he'd have thought, we won it, but we yeah. could have done more. We could Absolutely. have done more. So, and I think that's Absolutely. what we need to do against Bayern Munich. So that's my prediction. Listen, I don't, I've got to be honest with myself. I don't think we're going to win it. However, I don't think we're going to get slapped. I think we're going to compete, but I think it's going to be narrow and I don't think we're going to make it through. But that's not a bad thing. It's Bayern Munich. It's our first season back in the Champions League. We're going to be back in it next year. However, I just I can't see it. I, that's just me though. And watch how Arsenal prove me wrong. Because whenever I talk shit about Arsenal, they prove me wrong. So listen, I'm more than happy for them to do that. It's just me. And maybe I'm getting you know flashbacks from a couple of years ago. But I do want to say one thing. Thomas Muller, fuck you. Fuck Thomas yes! Muller. Yes! Okay. Fuck Thomas Muller. Yes! You know why I fuck Thomas Muller? Let's go. In, in this game, right? In this game, there's no <laughs> friend. When when we're playing them on the pit, when we're playing on, with them for 180 minutes, both legs, right? There is no friends. There's no shaking hands. There's no. You are at war with these motherfuckers, right? You are literally yeah. at war with these guys, right? You do not take them as friends. So I hate this all about. Oh, but he's being nice. He's you know showing respect. Fuck nah, Connor, Connor. Connor. He knew. He knows what he was doing. Oh, he knows that he's he gonna get hit. He knows he's gonna see. Every Arsenal fan see that, okay, and they're going to get a reaction from it. And then we're all going to go ahead and talk about what Thomas right. Muller said and how he called yeah. out his boy Kai Havers that plays left back for Germany. I mean, I'm sorry. Uh, forget that I said that. But long story short, you know what I mean, bro? It's yeah. one of those where they're going to try to get yeah. us off our game. He's making and us that's soft. Why... He's trying to make us soft. He's trying to make Arsenal fans soft. Oh, well, do you know we like Thomas Muller? He's a nice guy. He said, I can't wait to see you, Havertz. Fuck off. That's a fossil. Fuck, fuck that guy. No, no, no. Imagine Harry Kane done that, that video. Then it would all be, oh, you know, he's taking the piss now. Oh, yeah. Is Thomas Muller? Is, no, hold on a minute. Is Thomas Muller, when we're Go playing ahead. on that pitch in the Allianz Arena, because he will be playing, and uh, Tom, don't get me wrong. Thomas Muller is a nice. I think he is a nice guy. With football. He's a funny guy. But on the pitch, will he be going around? You know, shaking hands. Oh, are you all right? Yeah, are you all right? are you having a good <laughs> having a good game? No, he won't. He want to be winning the game and getting into the semi finals. So fuck Thomas Muller and fuck exactly. every Bayern Munich player until we, and, and after we play them, I'll say, do you know what? Fair play, good game, good game. But before, fuck him. No way. I ain't having any of that shit. You think he did that against Madrid? This, that against Madrid this, 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 this game isn't made for friends and made for all oh, huggy huggy times. Let's all have a good time. No. So screw Thomas Muller and I hope we slap you. So yeah, that's my that's my thoughts on that. And I wish I was on Sarge channel earlier, but unfortunately I couldn't make it. But I was going to drop that earlier on Sarge channel. Apologies, Sarge, I could have made that one. But yeah, no. He might he might need to he might need to get in he might need to get in for part two. Let's just go yeah, ahead and just make no, it. No, bro, listen, there one, was bro. fireworks. Fireworks <laughs> fireworks <laughs> part one, bro. <laughs> Holy shit. It was going yeah. off. Exactly. Um, so listen, I, listen, I don't, I don't care if Havertz and, and Miller are boys. I don't get that. I don't care. All I want Havertz is to do, I don't care if he's boys him. I want him to slap the shit out of that Bayern Munich defense. It's as simple as that. And do you know what? I actually 
I think Havertz will be one of the main reasons we could get through. And I'm, the reason I'm saying that is, and li listen, that, that season when Tuchel won the, the Champions League with Chelsea, it was massive. It was big. And obviously, Havertz was one of the main parts of it. For me, Havertz has more of a mind in Europe than he yep. does in the Prem. Does that make sense? He's played against yeah. German sides before. He's had experience with Germany. This is his bread and butter, in my opinion. That, he wouldn't that, TK. Oh, 100% he wouldn't, he wouldn't TK. TK. Big up to TK, by the way. But, no, listen, I think I think Kai Havertz, if, he, if he's on it and he wants to turn up and he wants to have a good performance, I think he could be the big reason. And, and, you, and you know me, I do not... And Gunnar, oh, yeah, it's all right. You can laugh. I, you, if you know me, I never give Havertz props. It's very rare when I do. When he gives, when he has good performances, by that I don't. But I'm just thinking about it. I'm thinking previous history in the Bundesliga. He knows what it's all about. He's actually won the trophy with us with a team. He knows the manager. He knows probably maybe how he thinks his tactics. I genuinely believe he could be a reason we could get through this. Genuinely. But I say that now and watch he pulls a stinker. But anyway, uh, yeah, that's my point. Nacho, uh, Nacho, Nacho, your name is Nacho, Havert, and you Havert, have Gar Nacho. I, I can't say that. I can't you're, say that. And you're giving, you're getting mad at us for Havertz prop? Are you, are you kidding me? Havertz has Pop more gold than Nacho, by the way. Pot me Yo, kettle. He, on, he, the he guy scores more. one overhead kick against Everton, and and yeah. and, and, and you're and you're simping for him. Unbelievable. Anyway, we have more, uh, big we have up, more uh, big up, Dale. We have more goals in 2024, Nacho, than you have all season. Yeah, Garnacho. Mm. Oh no, he's not. Uh, big up, big up, banner on the pitch. Big up, Dale Miller triggered your fan, triggered you fans, so you can get your own team and put them down. He has succeeded. No, he hasn't. I, I believe this entire panel is saying, "Fuck that guy. He's a fossil. He's an aerodactyl. He's a Kabuto. He is a fucking almanite. Okay, <laughs> this guy is dusty. Okay, we're not talking about mid mid um mid twenty tens. Thomas Mueller here. We're not. We're talking about 37-year-old Thomas Mueller who has to go on TikTok or Instagram or Friendster, whatever. Name whatever freaking social media platform you want and try to rattle the fans. We're not rattled. If anything, if I see that and I'm an Arsenal fan, or, or, or well, I am an Arsenal fan. I'm going to take it as an Ivan Tony. I'm going to take it as an Ivan Tony walk about in the park. Freaking, freaking, mm. freaking bulletin board material. If Mikel Arteta is not playing that on repeat during training, and you know, why give – then we're finished. <laughs> really. We Yo, have big, up, we uh, have big, big up American Ash Ketchum over here calling out every fossil Pokemon <laughs> out there, bro. That was impressive. <laughs> Just saying, bro. I was a big fan of the original one, um, 151. Hey, it is hey we're, we're from the same school, bro. But listen, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I mentioned uh, fairy tales and I mentioned, um, you know, storylines and I mentioned Tuchel, Arteta, you know, Harry Kane. And we didn't mention, you know, Serge Nabri, you know, somebody that mm -hmm. um, yeah. kind of, you know, slipped through our fingers here. And it's one of those where we were all getting giddy when – we thought he was going to, you know, we were going to sign him. And now he's playing alongside, um, you know, a former Spuds player that um, he pretty much, you know, ended their 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 hopes in the Champions League a couple of years back. So, um, Connor, it, it's not it's not far for, for you to say that you, you don't. And I understand where you're coming from. It's it's like, you know, I know you and by the times that we've been, you know, kind of um, connecting with each other is that you want to see more of it. And obviously yeah. us being back into the Champions League, it's kind of tough to really say whether we can go through or we can't go through. As I said before, I think we're a wild card. I think we're a yeah. spade in, in the deck. And the last thing that we want to do is to show... Um, not show a competitive edge, whether it's in the Premier League or in the Champions League, because the momentum for us is key. The momentum for us, obviously, I feel, got us through past Porto. Obviously, the goalkeeping heroics from David Raya is, goes without saying, and MO unlocking like the best, um, you know, um, burglars out there. You know what I mean? Just it, it, it sounded, it was a thing of beauty. You know what I mean? So, I understand where Connor's coming from, and and it, and it's okay to say, and it's yep. also okay to say whether we're going to win. But what I don't appreciate is when people 
here that we're already getting Bayern after a lot of them were asking for Borussia Dortmund and they're acting like we're just going to go ahead and have a, a field day with them because they're not the same club. So I'm just trying to make sure that the fan base understands what we're up against mm -hmm. and that we don't give this, 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 um, give us high hopes, man. That, that's what I don't want because let's be honest. We're we're new school, back into the to to the pond here, and at the end of the day, it's one of those where you just need to tread lightly, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, my biggest thing is how are we going to go ahead and manage both leagues when Bayern is obviously looking at the Champions League, you know, much better than the um, than the German league. That's that's kind of how yeah. I'm looking at it. Our defense is going to be top notch I, i i believe it i trust it it's going to be a narrow win in my opinion but if we lose man i can't see a loss like we played against porto that's what i don't no, no. want exactly. that's going to be a step backwards for me right and i and i don't think and i think the boys are going to be up for it and i think that the experience factor is really the really the key here is the hair you know they they always talk about european heritage and a lot of the time i roll my eyes at it because it's really just the players on the pitch that bring it it's not like you know the stars are aligning you know tony i i, I made this joke on sarcasm city i'll make it again the only stars that are aligning are above bayern munich's badge right now like, no no no, have, no no hold on, hold on. we have Were to you? remember go ahead no, no, no. Ahead, were, ahead, were, were you on with uh, with troops recently or no? I I haven't been on with troops in a couple of weeks, but why? All why, right. Well, the only reason why I'm saying that is because I, I don't. If somebody could beat troops for the amount of yeses in in 20 seconds, I don't know if you saw that clip of his, but you know he did mention the stars are aligning. Um, if we do get past Bayern, we have either Man City or Real Madrid, right? That's not the stars aligning. That's not the stars aligning, you know. <laughs> and he kind of, and he kind of withdrew. He got a big up, big up truth, by the way, my brother. Oh, you know what I mean? He's an and legend. and it's one of one of those where he kind of retreated towards the end. But let's look at football for what it is and for what we have it right now. Is that if we're looking at Man City and a lot of Arsenal fans are saying, "Yo, we can beat City in the Premier League," that means we're We we're getting to a point now where if we can believe that in the Premier League, why can't we feel the same way in the Champions League? You know what I mean? If we're talking about a lot of play, uh, a lot of people talking about Real Madrid not being the same Madrid, um, you know, as, as times pass. So there is an opportunity for us to get through. Now, whether we can do it this year is a different story. All I'm saying is I feel this is the year for us to go ahead and take advantage because I feel next year, Man City and Real Madrid are just going to be different beasts. Capo, can and then can I, Bayern can I most likely you? will not have Tuchel. So can I, can I tell you, can I tell you, can I tell you why it's different? I just, I just want to say this, why it's, why it's different from uh, the reason I know I've got to go in five minutes, bro, but I just want to land this last point guys. Go for um, it, the only reason why it's different is because Man City in the league, even if we draw, even if we, lose the pressure is not as big as the champions league and i'll tell you for why with the league you still have chances to to get ahead of them they can still drop points in another game do you know what i mean they can still drop points liverpool can still drop points that stuff can still happen in the champions league you got two games you don't win in those two games you're done you're out of the competition quick time it's a knockout competition that's the reason why i think the That's the reason why I think the pressure is a bit more heated and it's a bit more high in the Champions League because it's a knockout competition. Because you have to go out there and you have to win in order to stay in that competition. It's just as simple as that. And it, I, I, I'm with you. I think we can beat them, of course. But experience is key, bro. It's worth its weight in gold in this competition. And and they've got they've got bags of it. We, unfortunately, haven't. We've got one rucksack that's got a bit of experience against Porto. And against uh, against PSV and Sevilla and uh, uh, Lance. So, you know, Listen, what I mean? we... go on, sir. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, no, that, that, that's all I wanted to say. Is it's just the, the pressure of the league is very different to the pressure of the Champions League. It's it's two different sure, competitions, yeah. bro. Well, what's honest. encouraging let's, uh, let's... is that we we got a full squad coming back. 
Yes. You know what I mean? And, and we that's have, massive. It's massive. That, that is huge. And I think that's going to be pivotal, especially now that we got a little bit of time until the Champions League tie. I, I said it earlier, uh, Sad on, on the football corner, that yes, we're t- here talking about Bayern Munich, but me, myself, I'm focused on Man City. That's all mm-hmm. I want to see is how we're going to play Man City. That's going to definitely give me either encouragement that we can take it far in the league and Champions League or whether we're going to be like, ah, you know what? I'm not as excited to play uh, Bayern uh, at this at this point. There's a tricky games, like you said, still for us to play. And we got to play one game at a time, like DVS said earlier. Um, but the good thing is that we do have a lot of players coming back. Now, if we can get, you know, a fit and, and comp- uh, a competitive Thomas Partey next to Declan Rice, I'm going to feel 10 times better going into um, Bayern. I don't think he's going to be ready for Man City, let's just be honest. But um, the fact that the only player that looks like won't be there is Timber. And the fact that if you were to look at the experience when it comes to the Champions League, Zinchenko, Jesus, Kai Havertz, you know, if you want to go ahead and throw in Declan Rice for his performance last year with West Ham United and taking it, you know, showing armpits at the end, that to me is is still understanding how to play a, a knockout competition. So, um, you know, Saka has, has shown it, uh, even though he got locked down by Wendell and 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 it's okay. Listen, it, it, he he's going to know how to go ahead and play potentially against a Garedo or... Uh, a Davies at left back. It's going to be tough days, but guess what? This is what we've been asking for of our club for the longest, is to hear this anthem, Champions League anthem, and for us to go ahead and compete again. So, yep. it, it, it's for me, I'm looking at it as one of those where if we do lose, depending on the performance and depending how we lose, it, it could potentially open up a, a can of worms and it just to kind of expose who we really are. Yeah. I'm, like I said, again, I'm, I'm positive, go lucky by nature, but I just need to see a performance from the boys at Bayern. And I and, agree. I agree. And, and, and the one thing that concerns me, and I, and I said, this is why I kept saying over and over and over again, that the Porto game was the most, the Porto um, second leg was the most important game of the season up to this point, because if we don't go in with, a, into, Man City with a good posture, then we then we can lose three on the spin, and then have to go into Bayern, the the biggest team that we've played outside of England in what five six years, and mm. and just absolutely shit the bed. That's what that's what we cannot avoid. We need to keep this momentum going. This team is a momentum team. I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with me on that, but if we fall and we put our heads down, we we see what we saw the disaster in December DD disaster in December that we saw this season. And I think it would be a lot more comfortable. We'd be a lot more comfortable right now if that didn't happen. And if we, if it wasn't for the Dubai trip, I feel like we wouldn't, we wouldn't be where we are right now. We yeah. wouldn't be having this conversation. Mm-hmm. So yeah, you know yeah, what the funny thing is that people are asking, people right, are they, asking for the Saad, trip. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, one, go, second, go, go, hold go, go. on one second. One, one second. So do you need a, you need a jet bro? Yes, Broski. I'm, I'm no, busy right busy man, you. busy man. Busy man. Bless up you lot, man. Listen, take care. Um, Yo, Sad, like, remember, remember the little people. There you are. There you are. <laughs> hey, listen. Make sure to like the video. Make sure to share the video. Make sure to subscribe to TJ Warren TV. A great bunch of lads. Like, listen, it's 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 all it's it's nothing. It's nothing but love. It's nothing but love. Listen. I'm gonna shout. I'll shout you guys in the next one. Um, I appreciate you guys for having me on. Uh, Yo, son, I love. Yo, before you go, I remember Safi saying that you got more American um, contacts than he does, and he lives here in, uh, in in Jersey. You know what I mean? So the fact that you're here before he is speaks volumes of you, bro. So keep mm-hmm. on doing what you're doing, baby. You're you're growing. I'd love to see it. Yeah, nah, no, hundred percent, man. Pick up you lot, man. Love for the love, you guys, man. Appreciate it, man. Yeah, and I want to and I want to call out Saad because if it wasn't for Saad, 
Connor wouldn't be pull, Connor wouldn't be tearing up the the football terrace, and I wouldn't be I wouldn't be meeting some of the people that I'm meeting to. So big upside, this guy's Connor, 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 putting your face out there is big, man. So good for you, yeah. bro. Yeah, sure, he bro. absolutely killed it. Sure. I got I got to I got to address Dale here because this guy's going crazy here. He says I'm up I'm up for the fight. That's all I know. As long as we don't roll over and let him beat us up, football is one in moments, just like Ray in the moment with Porto. Yeah, there are more than one moment. We could have won that. We could have won that fixture at any moment before PKs, but we didn't. That's the point, and I think that's why a lot of people are are cautiously, you know, optimistic, being being cautiously optimistic. Big up for the super chats, though. I really, really appreciate it. And again, here, again, you're putting words in my mouth. You you cannot deny. That after we went to Dubai, yeah, no. we came back and we're playing better football. 100%. Like that is, I'm not saying that Dubai, you know, the, the city in the, the city, the city in the Emirates is is the reason that we we turned it around. That yeah. trip obviously got the boys on the same page. We have we haven't lost a game in the league, and we ended up winning our our fixture against Porto. It wasn't perfect football, but again, you. you you're doing this thing. You do this thing, Dale, and I think it's really annoying, but I understand. <laughs> you do this, this thing. The only reason. Yo, hey, you, listen. You do this thing. You do this thing where you 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 hear something and then you put it through your head, and then it comes out like this person said something, and that isn't at all what I said. You did this in the group chat earlier today, and I called you out. Now you're doing it again. It's so, clear to see. It's it's clear. It's to clear see that to we are see. Playing very, a, a lot better after that trip. It's like, clear to see that Arteta had a plan. He had a plan for the start of the season. And then he said, yo, once we get to Dubai, I want you guys to relax, take it all in, get your mind off of football. And yep. then when we come in 2024, we're going to go ahead and just show people who we really are, especially in the league. We could definitely see that. Now, why that happened is because we learned from what we did last year when it was gung-ho, guns blazing in the first half of the season, then we capitulated at the end. So we obviously learned from that. Now we can expect to learn from what happened at Porto. Um, and we know we're going to have a different opposition that is actually going to play football. Now we know that the Gunners are much better playing against a team that knows how to play football compared to a team that is there to stifle us or just go ahead and counter what we're trying to do. Dark arts, whatever the hell you want to call it. I think Bayern is a perfect, perfect opponent for us. If we would have gone and got a, a Dortmund, let's just say, and we would have beat them, we would have taken the easy route, we would have never gotten as much credit as we would if we would have gotten a Bayern. So the fact that we are where we are, I don't care if we are in the Champions League for the first time in how many years, this is what we're made of. This is what we are here for we get paid the big bucks to go ahead and shut people up and make sure that we take advantage of every single opportunity while we have it so listen beautiful to see um arsenal um you know bayern real madrid man city you got psg barcelona you know there's another story uh, another yeah. novella there well, if you will yeah let's 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 pivot to that real quick cuz i got to go in 15 minutes i got in-laws in town so but 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 big everybody everybody big up the in-laws yeah yeah big up the in-laws let's talk about let's talk about this real quick oh, sure that, oh my god shut up dos shut up i'm not doing this i'm i, I miss east coast dos east coast dos is a lot cooler than west coast la dos is the same i never seen <laughs> la dos is an absolute fraud and a dick <laughs> welcome to mustache though um no let's let's talk about this real real quick because i think we're all cautiously optimistic that we can beat bayern um i think that um except for connor 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 is mr negative connor's yeah, so mr negative now Connor's Mr. Negative. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, but let's 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 talk about let's talk about this though. Um City Real Madrid. Let's let's go around and 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 talk about the implications of that. Just just two minutes each. See what you're the most excited about on that one. Because like look, I think that that is gonna be the tie of the the tie oh, it's of, this ra- of this of this for it. it's I gonna be wait. the football is gonna be out of control what do you what do you what do you think about it connor like give us a little give us a little preview in your eyes i'm and buzzing we'll yeah i know i'm buzzing on in the sense that if we do manage to get through it is one of the big juggernauts gone um and listen either way playing either city or madrid is no easy match however even though i have predicted real to win it 
I would prefer City on the basis of that. I know we can probably beat them in that sense in a two-legged match. We know the ground. We have beaten them once this season. Fingers crossed we, we take it to them that the Etihad had in the on the 31st. So I would be more confident with that. And then it's just a case of if we get to the final, you just got to show up against whether it's Atletico, whether it's PSG, whether it's Barca. I don't think it's going to be Dortmund. Sorry, BBB David. I know you was in my chat the other day uh, earlier about that because I said Dortmund are going to get smashed by Atletico. I'm sorry. I think they are. Um, but yeah, no, I think, listen, as much as I, as a, as a football fan, I'm going to love that game. It's going to be such great football. The fact is the quarters, it's a little bit annoying. So I'm like, oh, that'd be such a like semi or even a final. But um, it's going to be interesting. Real are my favourites because, I don't know, I just see it. Being and obviously, you know, they've been there, done that. City have obviously been there, done that recently. But in terms of overall, you know, we know how much, you know, Real have completely dominated that competition. They're the most uh, established in that competition. So, um, hey, listen, if uh, it's going to be a great game. If we get through, it's going to be a tough match either way. Even I think even it's going to be, in, listen, there's no tough match in the Champions League, but it's going to be even more difficult than Bayern in my opinion, mm -hmm. um, especially Excellent. Madrid. I'm going to be shitting myself even more if it's Madrid. Um, but listen, I think I think City will be a, a preferred option because we know about them more. Madrid's a really big kettle of fish. I don't want anyone to underestimate them. I swear to God, if I hear one, we will smash Madrid or any will fit nine players out of 11 in a combined 11. I swear to God, I'm going to lose my head. However... Um, now listen, it's the Champions League. It's what we're all here for. And it's going to be a great fixture. And if we get through, I'm looking forward to whoever we play next. If we beat Bayern, I will have the confidence to say we can win the Champions League. If we beat Bayern. Uh, all 100%. right. Because that the team, that will make me so proud as an Arsenal fan, especially with the history. That will make me so proud to be an Arsenal fan. I'm already proud to be an Arsenal fan. Of course, everyone is being an Arsenal fan. However... You've been a team that have absolutely mocked this club in Europe in the last in the, la in the last time we were in it. If this team can manage to go ahead and not, I'm not saying slaughter them three four, just beat them, get through however you've got to do it. I'll be very proud of this team, and I will have the confidence to say, do you know what? Screw it, we can go ahead and win this. So yep. yeah, that's yeah. my thoughts. No, I agree. Yeah. I I agree with you 100. What do you got? What do you got, Dal? I I got the opposite. I want Madrid. And the reason why I say that is because they're not the team. <laughs> they're not the team that won it three years in a row, right? That was with Ronaldo, et cetera. We're talking about a team that really doesn't have a very good striker. Just say who's okay. They've got great wingers in Vinny and Rodrigo, and they have an, an old and young midfield, meaning that Kroos is getting up there. Modric is up there. Who's next in line? Karma Venga, right? So I'm looking at it as, and even I'm looking at it as they don't have the experience that the Madrid had three or four years ago. Right? There's no I Benzema. I think that's a crazy statement, no, Dal. Sorry. No, but, no, but listen, listen. I just, I, I just think, like, I, uh, hold on. Let me finish. 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 Let me But we have Declan Rice. And you know, dollars to donuts, Connor. Arteta's going to stick Declan Rice all over Bellingham as close as he can get. Right, there's just I I just think that they're they're a young team as well. Besides Kroos, besides Modric, besides Carvajal, I mean, who are their center backs? But Nacho, Rudiger, or, Rudiger Alaba's old. Rudiger, an experienced team. Alaba. Rudiger, yeah, Rudiger, Alaba. Alaba. Right, so they've got some some experience on there, but that's Alaba's injured long term, no? Oh, was he out no, of the so, season? Sorry, is he out? Yeah, he, yeah, he, he had a bad – last time I saw him play, he had a bad injury, ACL, I think. Really okay, if you look uh, at the team sheet, though, they're still a young team like us. That's my point. It, City, they, 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 they have weaknesses in Madrid. Fernandez. Sorry, Fernandez. You know, I just think that Man City are just better all the way around. They have a complete striker. They have a complete midfield. They have a complete defense. Madrid are kind of hit and miss if you really look at the team sheet. You're like, okay, Vinny Jr. obviously is an absolute threat. Jocelu, eh, not so much. Rodrigo, absolutely. Bellingham, absolutely. But if Arteta has any fucking ounce of brains on him at all, he will have a plan for those three players specifically. I'm not worried about Carmen Venga. I'm not worried about Valverde. I, I mean, they're good. They're, they're class players. But, we've, but, but I just think that Declan Rice... With the addition of Jorginho now informed party coming back if we play party, and you know I'm 
I just think that man per man, we we do have something there, especially on defense with Saliba, Gabrielle, Kiwi, or if and I'm you know, I'm not rating these players. You guys know that, right? Well, Kiwi, all right, he's not my first choice, but he's he's better than Zinchenko. He's playing very. He's playing well. He's playing well, playing right? Well. And so I just think like man for man, Madrid is a much better matchup for us because of the history we have with City, right? They've beaten our ass since 2015. And we don't have, you know, I just don't think we have an answer for KDB when he's on fire. We don't have an answer for Jack Grealish. You know, Vinny's going to be better than Jack Grealish against Ben White. You know, I just think man for man, they're still a young team and we're a young team. And I think that could play into our favor. You know, yep. they're fantastic players. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, you know, say we're going to slaughter them 4-0. That's not what I'm we're saying. We're not belittling. I, I think we can say that we're not belittling any of these teams. No, no, like, but they are a younger team. And if if, if, if yeah. on the night, Vinny Jr. can't do his thing, Ben White may have a great game. If on the night, you know, Rodrigo gets held up by Saliba or Gabrielle. I mean, look how we held Liverpool. Defensively, we're the best team in the league. And hopefully we can express that, you know, number one against Bayern Munich. But number two, it's like against Real Madrid. But I just think City would cause us way more problem yeah. because they're. I, that's just what I think about it. And we, what? Who's the only? What is the English team ever to win at the Benner Bill? Arsenal Football Club. There we go. All right, and then let's let's wrap it up. Last last word goes to Football Capo, Man City, Real Madrid. What are you? How are you feeling about it? This is the only Blanco that I have in my house. Uh, That's uh, it. That's adorable, man. (laughs) That's under the desk door. I know you guys. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Hey, my name is not Griselda Blanco, okay? Okay. I'm mistaken you for somebody else. You look better. No, but listen, uh, I I hear you. I hear you. I hear you, uh, DVS. I I completely understand where you're coming from. Um, You're going to put Carlo Ancelotti against. Yes. Mikel Arteta, it, it, it starts from there for me. And then if you look at Man City, the less that we give Man City an opportunity to play us, I think the better. So at this point, man, we're so far into it that no matter who the hell it is, I just want to see a performance. Whether it's Real Madrid or Man City, a Man City right now that has Ederson going to be out for a little bit. Um, yeah. De Bruyne mm-hmm. is also out um, after a performance against Liverpool where we saw if Rodri does get pressured, not having somebody next to him can be exploited. Yeah. So it's one of those where Holland is also missing a lot of big chances and we're having a full team coming back. At this point, gentlemen, the Champions League is for champions. If we are going to get through, right? And I'd rather have the hard way than the easy way so that we can shut up all these doubters, okay? All I'm asking for is to shut me up. First and foremost, shut me up. Sorry. All right, big up the Red Army. All right, this yeah. has been four yeah. years, five years in the making, bro. Okay, this is all that we've been asking for is to come and compete and just show face, go toe to toe and not be coming out and and having a a Porto performance. My biggest thing is I think I hope this is not the case. I just don't I I hope we're not playing with an e-break. You know what I mean? I hope that we don't go out there and have a game plan of, of potentially taking it to PKs for whatever reason, whether it's because Arteta doesn't feel that we're there just yet and, and we're just trying to go ahead and do Atletico Madrid, you know, things. But at the end of the day, it's one of those where we know what we got. We know we're playing first and big up Ashraf, uh, football corner. You know, he, he did mention something and I got to give it up to him. I'm not going to take any credit for this. He did mention something about us playing at home first against these bigger teams isn't going to be as intimidating as playing and understanding how they play at their house at first mm-hmm. and then getting potentially blindsided and, and just, you know, blitzkrieg. Let's just put it that way for the Germans out there. Um, but it, 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 it's, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. Football is football. Arsenal has been in the Champions League time back in the day. 
right? Now it's time for us to go ahead, and whether it's this year, next year, whatever it is, I just want to see us go ahead and compete as far as we can with good performances, man. Um, I don't, I don't feel like we can take it to the final. To be completely honest with you, um, Atletico Madrid is one of those teams where I think they got the easier run out. You know what I mean? And their shithousery just goes without saying with the cojones that Simeone has. Um, he's got a bunch of rebels on that team and he's he's doing his thing. But when you look at our side of the uh our side of the street, it's beat the best to be the best. And that's all I'm expecting. Yep. Yeah. All right, guys, we're going to have to wrap up now. I got to, I, I can already tell my, my wife is going to start texting me like in two minutes. So I got to, <laughs> I got to get going, but big up, uh, big up, uh, football capo. Where can they find you, bro? Shout yourself out. Yo, listen, hit me up on, uh, Instagram. I'm, I'm trying to do the X thing, but honestly, time is, is kind of hard, but it's uh rate dot keeper R a T E dot keeper. Um, on instagram hit me up there i'm always trying to talk about football especially when it comes to arsenal eventually you guys are going to see a little bit more content from me coming and introducing more of an international flow and especially uh bigging up all the goalkeepers out there so goalkeeper union i got some things in the works but um hopefully in the next two weeks now that we got this little slowdown i can go ahead and uh, take advantage of the slow time and start giving everybody some content out there so i'll definitely be hitting each and every one of you here on the panel, uh, obviously to get you guys involved, but rate that keeper on Instagram. Hit me up. Yep. All right. Big up football capo. Every time. Thanks again for joining us. Connor, try yourself out, bro. Yeah. You can find me on <laughs> CMO sports down there. Yeah. Um, tomorrow, obviously match reaction central this weekend. I've got match action for city, Newcastle tomorrow night. Um, and obviously Sunday is going to be United v Liverpool. Um, I was meant to do a Chelsea show, but I've got to move it with the boys. So got, there's going to be a Chelsea show coming up soon. But I'm going to have to move that next week. I've completely forgot it was Cup weekend. Um, so there'll be United Liverpool on, get Schick back on, get some of the United boys on. And uh, Das, if you're available, come talk. Um, so, <laughs> so yeah, and that'll be Sunday night. And uh, yeah, big up to everyone. Sunday. It's been a good show. And um, yeah, two weeks of international break. Can't wait. Content's going to be fun, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, it will be. Dow, show yourself so, out. Co host with the most, my guy. Well, first and foremost, thank you, Capo, for joining the show. Eh? Dímelo, papi. Let's go, papi. man. Thanks for having me, bro. Thanks for having me. I couldn't miss out. As soon as TJ said you were calling for me, I was like, bat yeah. sign. Here we go. <laughs> I was calling for you for sure. It was a bat sign. Big old fucking thing up in this guy. <laughs> Anywho, Connor. I'm sorry I disagreed with the city, Man United. I mean, Man Madrid. <laughs> sorry, man. Please don't cry. Once I disagreed, his head went down. <laughs> nothing to do with my opinion. Nothing. <laughs> anyway, so it's good to see you, Connor. Good to see you too, Capo and TJ. Thanks for a great show. And big up everyone in the chat, every single one of you. Thanks for hanging out with us today, including you, Nacho17. One day you'll understand football. But um, Ooh, other than that, shout out Mike Doss for becoming a mod. Okay, where um, we 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 mod the friend we mod the, our friends here we mod our friends here. Fantastic, Doss is a real one. Anyway, uh, one. yeah, thanks again, TJ. Another great episode. Um, Fifty one and a half. <laughs> I think. Yo, we're smash the like button, bro. Don't don't be stingy. Smash the likes, bro. Let's go. Like, seriously, man, get this kid up here. Hey, <laughs> and, and last but not least, big up the in laws because you know you got to be on their side. You yeah. Know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway. Thanks again. Happy Friday, everybody. Let's have a great, safe weekend. Party hard, but don't make an ass out of yourself. St. Patrick's Day weekend, absolutely. Ooh, no, yeah. no, and I'll be, right. and I will be attending. Um, if you guys flip on ABC tomorrow, I will be attending the uh, the Portland Thorns Casey Current opener. Uh, Portland Thorns. Oh so, yeah. So yeah. Um, the the lady, the the I got, I got season, I got you season tickets to see the ladies play football. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go do that. Perfect. But anyway, all right. That has been the show, people. American Idiots, episode 51 and a half. Because, yeah, that, because next week we're going to have a whole ass episode with the one and only Lee Gunner. He will be joining us. So make sure that you tune in for that. Um, ciao, mi gente. Me. Ciao, ciao. Yep. You can catch me over on Staffy TV for American Waffle again, of course, on Monday. 
Um, it's one of those things. I don't know if I'm going to run that next week. I'll probably run it when the when the international break is over. Keep an eye out for that. Just keep an eye on the community page. And then, of course, don't don't forget that I will be on. Um, actually, no, that's not this week. On this channel on Thursday, 11 p.m. USA versus Jamaica. Me and Flawless from Sarcasm City TV mm. will be doing a watch along. The reggae oh, boys. Yeah. The reggae oh. boys are coming to the United States of America. Wagwan man, Wagwan man. We will be, yes. We that will be from. doing a watch along for that. So, so. <laughs> Jamaica or dead food. All right. We are Bailey's Until next class. time, guys. Until next time, guys. Peace. Guys, good luck to you in the next round as well. We'll see who you guys draw. But I was supporting Arsenal yesterday. And it's all oh, Arsenal FC, where by far the greatest team.